Now, the most accurate weather team in Florida, ABC Action Weather. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Jason Adams. Tropical Storm Philippe moving through South Florida during the overnight hours. It pushes offshore thanks to a cold front that's coming through our area as we head into your Sunday morning. That cold front's going to deliver some pretty strong winds out of the north. We have a small craft advisory in effect for our coastline. We're also looking at a high rip current risk as well. So if you have plans to head out to the waters, just be careful out there and stay on shore if you can't avoid going out with the boats because wave heights once you get offshore could be as high as 10 feet. The north winds are going to bring in some significantly cooler air for the game tomorrow afternoon. So for AJ, we're looking at temperatures only into the 60s. That's quite a bit below the average, which is closer to the low 80s this time of year. And the gusty winds are going to continue, and that will also make it feel a little bit colder. But after being into the 60s for high Sunday, check this out. We fall into the upper 40s and low 50s. Most of us into the upper 40s. Right along the immediate coastline, you could stay closer to 50 degrees. But these temperatures are a good 15 degrees below average for this time of year. And we're going to stay chilly even for daytime highs getting into Monday. Only into the 60s for your Monday forecast. Florida's most accurate seven day shows a little bit of a warm up for Halloween at temperatures at 76 degrees. And just like that, we're back into the low 80s from Wednesday into the upcoming weekend.